The world was changing, evolving in strange new ways. What was it becoming? That was still unknown. I started documenting the changes, the beautiful but humbling reminders of mankind's insignificance. But the biggest changes were in me. My vision was better, especially at night. If I really concentrated, I could hear the bugs rustling under my feet, and I swear I could smell a storm coming. Other people noticed similar changes, but they mostly wrote it off to less distractions, less white noise. I suspected, though, that everything was undergoing a deeper transformation on a genetic level, and my suspicions were confirmed in Amarillo. For the most part, Texas wasn't the kind of land you lived off, so I headed for what was usually a good pit stop, an isolated residence on the outskirts of a city. First thought was another one of JD's horsemen. In some ways, this was worse. Arlen Willette grew up on a ranch. He knew what normal animal behavior was. Not like those mares were starving. They just done got a taste for blood. Killed that cow like a pack of wolves. I told Arlen I wasn't looking for trouble, just supplies. Best bet's Amarillo, but keep your head down. Still a war zone in there. He said the cartel was running out the marauders so they could move in. Hadn't heard of this cartel. The thing about cities, you had to know where to look for supplies. Most people didn't bother with offices, but there was usually a stash of snacks in the break room. Drop your gun. Told her I didn't carry one, just a Bowie knife and a pry bar. She seemed surprised, asked my name. Schumacher? The walker? Prove it. Told her I couldn't, that I'd lost my ID in the Ozarks. But she was desperate, so she recruited me anyway. Her name was Gwen Blackwell, a neonatal doctor from Boulder. She'd already delivered 14 babies in five states. Got hurt when a mortar shell landed nearby. Turned out there was a baby due any minute at the Morning Star Ranch. Not just any baby. According to the Wood Wall, this is the first one conceived after the fall. Word had spread about the impending birth and as usual, everybody was all worked up, waiting for some indication about what we were becoming. The future of mankind. 